Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yay, so this is a little excessive. Once again, I feel like I have probably done a little bit too much when it comes down to the construction of this. Dear God. Um, yeah, I'm not getting very good frame rate right now. I don't know why. I mean, I tried this out before and now it's getting decent frame rate, but eh, whatever. So yeah, I hope everyone had a very good Easter for those of you who celebrate and all that good stuff. And yeah, I just basically ate some ham. That, that, that consists of my Easter, usually every year. Just chunks of ham. That, that's pretty much the best way to describe it. But yeah, so I just have been, once again, busy and just working on stuff and trying new things out and all that other jazz. It's really been kind of fun, but, you know, I'm just uh, still at that point where I don't feel satisfied with the amount of videos I've been releasing and all that other good stuff, but it's a totally different story and I will try to veer away from doing all that stuff for right now. Uh, but, yeah, so I've officially seen Jupiter, like, actually seen Jupiter, which is actually very amazing to me, and I can't believe that I actually have seen Jupiter. It's it's not really, you know, that great of a thing, but, I mean, with my telescope, it's, uh, it's a little bit hazy and stuff as far as seeing it and everything else. It's not, like, the absolute most awesome image I've ever seen of Jupiter, but it's just amazing to think that you'd be able to see something like that, and it, it, it's totally amazing. I mean, even my girlfriend is just blown away by looking at the moon, so it's it's kind of funny, so I, I don't know. But yeah, so some of you might be wondering what the heck is this, and exactly all of the stuff on here, and just everything in general. I kind of rehashed something that I launched a long time ago and I figured you know it's time to use the tried and tested method of the lander and everything that I have built before to see if this really works uh, for Duna and that's pretty much where this thing is going to be going is Duna now I built a very very massive uh, transfer stage just to get there and I'm not really sure a hundred percent if that is going to really get us all the way there and if everything is just going to work out very very nicely but I'm expecting we're gonna get at least some kind of problems I'm gonna have to do some of the math here shortly after off camera just to make sure that everything is pretty much going to work out flawlessly I'm hoping that I don't have to add on to it. I did leave room for expansion just in case, but I am still very, very unsure as to exactly how much fuel I'm going to need. And, you know, I, I brought extra engines, obviously. I, I put on, I slapped on a lot of extra engines. And the engines, I do understand, because a lot of people have said, like, oh, well, engines don't do anything. Well, it's true in a way with uh, the ISP. Uh, you know, ISP doesn't stack. Uh, the amount of newtons does stack as far as engines is concerned. So I mean, no matter ISP is always changes depending. If you have like two different engines, then it changes depending on if you're using like a very uh, newtons and engines. Or, I mean, newtons and the uh, ISP. It, it's it's a pretty hefty equation for those of you guys who don't really understand all of that stuff, which I'm actually thinking about at some point in doing a tutorial series. Once again, this is something that is going to happen a very long time from now when I actually have the time to do it, but I'm thinking of throwing in some animation and a few other things and seeing where that will take me. But for right now, you know, once again, I'm not really going to get too heavily into that stuff because of the amount of time I have. I would have to learn how to use some animation software and that I just don't have any time for. And I, I tried it a few times. Uh, I, I found some free animation tool, but it, it, I learned a little bit, but not enough to actually, you know, do anything even remotely good. And 
by now I, I don't even remember any of it anymore. So, that's the best part about getting old, is that you'll do things, and then, like, a week later, you have no idea what you were doing. And, and you have no idea what you did, and, or how to replicate it in any kind of way. So this thing, the one thing I've been noticing with it is it's getting some very extreme oscillation. And I, I do have to say it's probably because of all of these engines. And it's just one of those kind of things now in this game where I'm noticing that there are a lot of really quirky kind of bugs and stuff like that as far as using these really big engines. So... I decided to kind of opt for this, and it's, I know it's a little bit OP, and it looks a little silly, but I, I just kind of wanted something that I knew would work right off the bat. I don't really want to use any of the fuel in this upper stage here in any kind of way. I would rather just have a full tank, that way I don't have to go and go back and make all kinds of crazy corrections and have to deal with all of that, which is just not fun. So... Ooh, that's not really that good, but I don't think it's going to affect us so much. I did put some struts, but I guess they did not connect over or something. I, I don't know. But, yeah, it looks like... Oh, I know what I did. I, I Yeah. This, uh, this whole base thing is not very symmetrical. It is, in a sense that I have it perfectly aligned and everything, so... You know, we're not going to, you know, be pulling to one side or the other because of the fact that it, there isn't the, uh, the center of mass is off or anything like that. But the main problem is, is that uh, constructing something like this, you don't just build something like this and just have it all work out perfectly, especially these really weird designs. It, it just doesn't work out that way ever. It, it's always some kind of curve that you have to follow and what you're going to add and what you're not going to add and how things are going to change and it's just never really a, one does not simply build a mobile moon base put it that way so let's see uh, what is there a strut there okay no never mind I, i'm looking at this black line and i thought there was a strut but apparently not what are we looking at an altitude it's looking really good Everything's looking really good. The one thing I've been having problems with is this thing will not do time warp with this massive fuel tank on there at all. So I'm thinking I'm probably just going to just kind of push my way through into an orbit without really doing all of the procedure. I don't think it's really going to work out that well, but we'll try. I'll try to nose down a little bit to bring the... AP, uh, keep the AP from just like rocketing around and just, we're in a rocket, yes. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it really hasn't been too eventful. I mean, I've, I've just kind of been relaxing and trying to get everything done. In my math class, I'm not doing very good in right now. I am, surprisingly enough, not very good at math, which, you know, I kind of figured I'd be doing all right in. It's funny, you, when you're going to school, or at least, you know, going back to school, you always think that, uh, you know, there's certain subjects and stuff like that, you're like, oh, well, that's going to be easy, I'm not going to have to do anything, I'm not even going to have to study, this is going to be a walk in the park, as far as classes are concerned, this is just going to be silly. And the classes that I have been overly confident in always, ever since I've started, um, just way overly confident and just knowing that, oh, well, this isn't going to be hard. I, only an idiot won't be able to do this or whatever. Generally, those classes are the ones that I always do the absolute worst in. And usually I don't get that great of a grade in. And it, it's just like this known thing for me. I don't know why, but that's just how it works. And uh, the classes that I'm never prepared for... And the ones that I, I'm like, oh my god, this is going to be insane. Like, I, I've never done this before, so this is just not going to compute in some kind of way. I usually am like, okay, well, get like an 80, 90 overall grade in the class without even trying. Like, chemistry right now I'm taking, I, I do have a background in chemistry a little bit. I do understand the fundamentals and a lot of things about chemistry I'm, I'm very savvy on, so I understand it perfectly as far as how everything works and how things 
bond and they just chemical bonds and all that stuff. I, I understand that pretty well. And, uh, yeah, right now I'm getting like, I think I have like a 90 average in the class without even trying. And, you know, I, I'm, as far as studying is concerned, I'm like looking at, we get a, um, basically a handout before the class. I'm just going to quick save here because we might experience some problems. So, yeah. I'm going to continue this conversation once we get a little bit further into orbit. I'm just hoping that there's no problems. One thing that happens is this piece likes to just kind of wrap itself around and do some crazy stuff. So, I'll see you in a second. Alright, so yeah, it looks like we're pretty good here. I kind of had some kind of expectation that there wasn't it wasn't going to do what I wanted but I think we're all right overall so yeah I mean with my chemistry class I, I literally get the handouts just the study guide before the test I look at it I, I look at the answers I look at it I'm like oh this is easy and I get it done in like maybe 10 20 minutes i mean some of it takes a little bit of analyzing to fully understand it but i'm like yeah this is just a walk in the park and uh math i don't know why i just look at it and it's like gibberish it's like i don't even remember doing this stuff this is this is complete crap i i, I don't understand anything that this paper is telling me but yeah, so I, I, I just really haven't been doing that, and I'm pretty sure you guys could kind of hear it in my voice and, and during the videos and stuff. It's just the stress has been building and building, and, you know, I'm really, I, I cannot fail the class. It, it's something that I really need, and it, it's just going to put me behind if I fail or anything, and I'm not a person that's willing to accept failure. I, I just hate that. So, let's see. All right, well, we're kind of achieved our 200 orbit. I generally want to put everything kind of in the same orbit. I did this the last time and it worked out pretty well because I knew what I was taking and what I wasn't taking and it just made things a little bit easier. So let's do a little burn here and I think I'm going to leave this engine stage on here. Quite possibly it, it might actually make a little bit more sense to leave it on here than to jettison it mostly because there's just that's a boatload of fuel to just get rid of so i think i'll be leaving this on here i'm probably going to do the equation with all of this stuff on here i would have to but that's a different story and i'm going to see what i can get out of all of this so anyways guys um let's do a quick save let's see let's I'll do, I'll do a little bit of a introduction to you guys to this thing because I know for some of you are new and you haven't seen this before it's exciting and new and amazing which I do have to say it is pretty much it'll come on I do have lights on it so I could turn the lights on but they're like could melt stuff so we got our little base here this is going to be a mobile moon base or mobile duna base there's a smaller rover underneath the larger rover so they could go out for evas and stuff like that and be able to come back and attach themselves back to it again i put a little walkway here for the kerbals to come down i got a ladder um obviously eight wheels this is the main area like you know the main driving area whatever you want to call it we can do an iva here and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what you'll see out the window while you're driving. I mean, I don't really have... I have the mobile moon base, which is roughly the same thing, but I made a few minor changes to this one because I was having problems with the Kraken. So, let's get back out here. And, basically, there's eight habs on here as well. That That's pretty much, like, the main thing. And I did bring along a boatload of Kerbals just so everyone can ride along. Where is... This guy, oh, I know where he's at. He's in the bottom here. We got one down here as well. So I, I didn't think I actually put a guy in here. So anyways, guys, if you like what you see here, subscribe. There's more, always more to come. Totally new people, welcome. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time.